Great question, Jude. We hear this a lot, right? And cubic feet per second is not a measure of speed. It can indicate how fast the water might be flowing, but it in itself is not a measure of water speed. Instead, it tells us how much water is flowing past a specific point every second. So volume of water. So picture it like this. Picture a one by one or one foot by one foot box, maybe a basketball inside a box is squared around it, right? One of those boxes would equal, let's say, one CFS. So if we're standing at a point in the river looking straight across, if we're at 1300 CFS, picture 1300 of those imaginary one by one boxes flowing past in a second. So that's where we get that CFS or cubic feet per second number. The higher the CFS rate, it does mean more water, of course, flowing past that point, which means a stronger, more forceful and powerful flow of water, which usually is also a faster flow of water. But CFS in itself does not indicate speed necessarily. So we just heard Jude talk about our 1300 CFS at the Boise River, the Glenwood Bridge. That's where that measurement comes from. To put it into per some perspective and comparison for you, heading up to the middle fork of the Payette at Crouch, just 200 CFS, where, by the way, the water's a toasty 61 degrees right now. Even further north at Kelly's Whitewater Park at, uh, on the Payette River in Cascade, 2000 CFS. So there is no hard and fast number for what a high cubic feet per second measure is. It really just depends on the actual body of water. So a small stream, of course, a high number there would likely still be a low number for a fast flowing river. So that's cubic feet per second. That's what you can expect 1300 if you head out to the Boise River soon. And it's not a bad afternoon to float the river. We're at 91 degrees right now. We do have some moisture creeping in to eastern uh, Idaho today, but generally speaking, the Treasure Valley, if you're looking to float the river for the next three days, will be hot and sunny. But for Independence Day tomorrow, we have some haze coming in. We'll have some wind. Also, though, some cooler temperatures. I'll talk much more about that in detail coming up in just a little bit.